How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Stream Deck tutorial. If you are new to the series, be sure to go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. And I'm also going to put a card above that way you guys on mobile can also click on it too. Now, if you're also new to the channel and you're wanting to learn how to stream, I have a bunch of tutorials, so be sure to go ahead and check that out. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing how you can use a specific encoder to work with your specific platform of choice that you want to stream on. This should be universal for any of the ones that I don't show. And today's video, I'm only going to be showing how to use the Streamlabs OBS to work with Mixer. Now, if you're wanting to see other encoders like the game capture itself, OBS Studio, XSplit, I could definitely go into those and I can kind of show you pretty much the same methods of what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. But like I said, it should be universal. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, of course, is create a folder. It keeps everything organized, makes it very easy and less cluttered on here, depending on how many other things you're going to put on the Stream Deck. So to do that, you can go to any one of these empty folders. You're going to right click, go to create folder, and just give it a name. So we'll just do test. Now what you can do, there's two methods to get into the folder. You can double click on it. If you have the Stream Deck, you can press on it or you can click on the little arrow here where it says zero items. So in here, it gives you a blank slate of what you can actually put in here. So like I said, I'm gonna be working with the Streamlabs OBS. So we're gonna click on here. And here's the different options you have. You have scenes, mixer audio, record, you can stream, and you can add sources. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add scenes first. Now before I do that though, one thing I got to mention is in order for the scenes to show up, you're going to have to make sure that your OBS, um, your Streamlabs OBS is open. Otherwise, they won't show. So once you have it open, then come back here, click and drag <clears throat> and then give it a title for whichever you want it to be called. So like if I say this is going to be, let's say, startup. So it's going to show underneath here what it is so when you're looking on your stream deck you'll know exactly what it is and if you have different collections of scenes like how like how i have the scenes here and the untitled untitled is what i use because it just didn't title anything but here's all my scenes so i'm going to go and click on startup so that will be my very first scene and that is usually what people are going to see while my stream is you know getting ready maybe you're sending out tweets maybe you're getting your discord notifications sent out to people in your discord and stuff like that. You know, this, this kind of just like put something up there that way people are able to come into your stream and kind of hang in the chat for a few minutes while you get everything situated. Some people do this. Some people don't. It's entirely up to you. So then the next thing is the mixer audio. So mixer audio allows you to pretty much mess with the, um, mess with the different types of, audio sources. So you can use this to hide your Elgato if you want to, or bring your Elgato back. You can do the same thing with your webcam. I use it for microphone, so I can mute my mic. And that just makes it a lot easier at a press of a button versus happening to, say if I'm playing a PC game, I have to tab out. Or if I just have too much stuff on the screen and I don't have my Streamlabs OBS open or up, then, you know, I can't get to that really quick. Or maybe there's just a really loud ruckus going on and you need to quickly go and try to mute it real quick. This is going to be your best option. But since you do have other sources that you can mess with, with being able to just turn them on and off, like for the Elgato, you can do the same thing. You know, you just select whichever one you want. So it's, it's a very useful tool, very fast to change. I like it. So for recording... Recording is pretty much going to be exactly what it is. There's no like extra fluff that you have to mess with. You just simply press the button and that's it. Uh, now on your stream deck, it's going to blink red when it is recording. And then it's just going to be plain when it's not. 
So then if you have your stream, which is the next one, this one, again, no fluff, no extra stuff to mess with. You just press it when you're ready to go and press it when you're done. Now for sources, sources, you have a little bit of extra stuff here. So whichever collection you have for your sources. So if you have different types of sources on a certain scene, then you can go and mess with all these extra ones. Whether you want them to display or not display, uh, you know, you pretty much toggle them in a sense. And you can have all these different things. So these are all the, all the different scenes that I have on my main one. So if I want my alert boxes to show up, you know, you can have multiples of these too. So if you, if you wanted one for your alert box, maybe say you wanted another one for, you know, your donation goal, or maybe you wanted to add an extra, extra mixer audio for say webcam. So now you have all these different, different things you can mess with. And Later on, I will go into these icons because, yes, they are all the same icons. That's why being able to put a text to them is very useful because that is going to be able to, like, tell you which one is for what. And you can, like I said, you can add a text to all of these. So, like, this one would be Mike. And this one would be Cam. If I could spell. <laughs> Cam. So, I mean, it does at least help you figure out which one's which. But that's that's pretty much how to get these guys in here, how to mess with them, what options you have. But now let's say we're going to go and bring in the stuff for Mixer. So for Mixer, you'll have the option to bring in chat messages. I love chat messages because it makes it so much easier for me to quickly like put out rules or... If you're a partner, you can put out your, your sub information and stuff like that on the fly. No needing to type in any chat command or asking a mod to do any chat commands or anything like that. So first thing you'll have to do is add your account. So I already have mine added. But if you need to add yours, just click on this field for accounts. Go to add accounts. It's going to bring you into this right here where it's going to ask you to log in. So go ahead and log in. And then after that, it will bring you right here to your preferences and it will show you which accounts are added. Now, if you want to go and do this on your own, you can. And to do that, you just go and click on the gear and it brings you right to the preferences. And then you can click on the plus button on the bottom here. And then it shows you all these extra options of different accounts that you can log into. So you got your YouTube, you got Twitter, Twitch, Tippy, Stream, and then you also have Streamlabs and Mixer. So once you have those all added in, then you should be good. Now, I will say this. If you've had your stream deck turned off for a while or if it goes idle and you try to use the chat messages and it doesn't work, you simply just have to click in here and then click add account again and then just quickly redo this sign in and then the messages will be fine. Then you can use them. So the thing about chat messages like I was mentioning, is you can use them for pretty much anything that you want to quickly get out there into your chat. So you just give it a title, add your account, give it a message, you're done. That's, that's about it. Now for viewers, this is very simple. Once you add your account for whichever platform you're on, in this case we're talking about Mixer, then it's going to show you the viewer count of how many people are in your chat. And it's pretty accurate about 95% of the time. Um, so I do like having that up there just just for my own personal view to see like how many people are actually, you know, lurking about and stuff like that. Because I don't I don't really ever pay attention to the viewer count, but sometimes I just like to take a glance at it. Now for clear chat, this is really good. I love being able to use clear chat. So again, you add your account and you give it a title. But clear chat is simply what what it says. You can simply just clear everything out and it just just makes it easier, especially when you get in a bunch of trolls and stuff like that, people who spam and it just fills up everything, or maybe you get raided and you want to just clear the chat after the raid. That's completely, completely fine to do. And then, of course, the slow chat. I don't use slow chat, but you can give it a duration for how long you want the the chat delay to be. And that's that's pretty much it for that. So in a sense, that's pretty much how you get everything together. Now, mine's all like cluttered. So 
I can kind of show you really quickly, and I've done this in the previous video, but this is pretty much my setup. So I have all my scenes, all right here. I have my microphone, where I can mute it and unmute it. I have my stream where I can start and stop it just by simply pressing it. I have my viewers, my clear chat. I have my chat messages all in the folder. I have music. So if I ever play any music, I can go and mess with that. That's part of the multimedia. And then I have my own personal soundboard. So this soundboard is my own personal soundboard of sounds that I play during certain times just because it's funny. It's funny moments. But, I mean, that is that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And you can apply this with all the other platforms, too. So, if you're not using Mixer, but you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can also grab stuff from Twitch. So, you can grab your chat messages, your viewers. If you have ads, you can play ads. If you have subs, you can do sub chats. Like, all that stuff is there. And it just, it's all there at a click of the button. So if you need me to go through these, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, YouTube is pretty limited. You just get these two things. But you can still bring in Streamlabs OBS stuff in there. You can still use OBS Studio. You know, you can still bring in stuff from here, from the regular Elgato capture card. And where's, is that the only encoder? <laughs> I, I really, I need to organize this better. But, <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at is that it's very universal to, to go and figure out how you want to set everything up. But like I said, if you need me to go over these a little bit more in depth, please let me know in the comment section below. I have no problems making additional videos of showing how to use certain platforms with certain encoders and such and such. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with this video. If, if you are new to the channel, be sure to go ahead, check out the other videos on the channel. I have a bunch of tutorials on how to help you guys be streamers. And if you are new, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. You'll find a new video every Sunday. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. You can always reach out to me on my other networks like Discord. Mixer, Twitter, email, whichever way is the best way for you guys to get in contact with me. But thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, and take care.